a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 8 in the part of React Learning Series. In a typical React application, data is passed from parent component to the child component via properties. But this can be difficult for certain types of properties that are required by many components which are nested at different levels within an application. Let's take a look at one example. When an employee is logged into the organization portal application, we have a nesting of components which are making the user interface. They are app component, employee component and salary component. App component has an employee object and this object is needed by employee component as well as salary component in order to function. In this session, we will understand how do we use context in React to pass the data between components placed at different nesting levels. Context provides a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass properties from parent to child manually at every level. Context provides a way to share values between components without having to explicitly pass a property through every level of the tree. Context is primarily used when some data needs to be accessible by many components at different nesting levels. To understand things in practical, let's open index.js file from our demo project. Let's create three components named as app component, employee component and salary component. I have the code ready and I am pasting it here. Now let us understand this code. So we can see here there is a class called as app which is extending from react.component and a constructor defined and a render method which is written in a div container. Same is the case with employee class as well as salary class. Now we can call the salary component from employee component. So I navigate to employee component and we call the salary component. And now we go to app component and we can call the employee component from there. Now app component is calling the employee component and employee component is calling the salary component. So the components are nested. Let's call the app component and render it to our DOM. Let's save these changes, navigate to the browser and we can see that welcome to app component, welcome to employee component and welcome to salary component messages are being displayed here. Now let's go to app component class constructor, create a state object which contains employee details like id, name, location and salary. This state object should be passed from app component to employee component as well as to the salary component. We don't want to pass this data through properties from app component to employee component and pass this data again from employee component to the salary component through properties. Let's see how we can handle this. This can be addressed by using context in React. So let's go ahead and create a context object. We say const employee context is equals to we can create a context object using react dot create context method and now in app component we will store the state object data within this context object and then access this context object in employee component as well as in the salary component every context object comes with a provider which allows consuming components to subscribe to the context changes. So we go and modify the way how employee component is being called from app component. We say employee context dot provider. Every context provider accepts value property using which we can pass the data to the descendants of this app component. So we say value is equals to this dot state and within the scope of this provider we will be calling our employee component now we can display the employee id in all these three components so first we do that in the app component 
in the app component we get the employee id by reading from the state object and now let's go to employee component in this employee component we want to access the context object in order to access the context object inside this employee let's create a static variable and we can access the context which has been created employee context and here let us display the employee id by reading from the context object we access the context this dot context dot id and we can repeat the same in the salary component as well static context equals to employee context and then we can display the employee id let us save these changes navigate to the browser and we can see that we are able to access the employee id in app component employee component as well as in the salary component in the same fashion we can access id name location and salary in any of the descendant component if we make changes to this employee data in the app component it gets reflected in both employee component as well as in salary component to demonstrate this let us go back to visual studio code let's go to app component and place a button here let's add a button this is a paragraph tag and add a button and when user clicks on this button we would like to call a function named as change employee data on click equals to this dot change employee data and let's give the text as update now let's go and implement this change employee data function add a error function and in this change employee data function we can change the state object using set state method id as 102 let's save these changes navigate to the browser and we can see an update button here let's click on this button and we can observe that id is being changed in all these components so remember that the descendants of a provider will re-render whenever the provider value changes so this is the way how we can pass the data from parent to child components using the context object thank you for watching this video and have a great day